Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. I am really really excited for this vlog because this vlog has literally been filmed over such a long time just because I was just filming and filming but then university got so hectic that I literally wasn't able to edit and upload so I'm really happy that I finally managed to get this video sorted out and ready for you guys. This vlog pretty much goes from before semester two started into pretty much a quarter of semester two. So at the moment, in this current clip, I was happily enjoying the end of the holidays because we actually had about a week from the final exam till semester started. And this day, I actually went to the British Library just because I wanted to read a few papers because I hadn't really read many apart from the compulsory ones that we were asked to read. So I thought it would be nice to have a change of environment and change of scene and actually go out into London and have a bit of an adventure. And good thing I did because look at the moon. That is so crazy and I was able to capture that on camera. So I was so excited. And recently I've kind of been addicted to meal deals. I've been trying out different meal deals literally every day or whenever I do get a meal deal. And I'm actually surprised that there's such a good variety and every day it's a different combination that I get, which I think is so fun. I've never been more excited to get a meal deal, but now I literally look forward to that. That is like the highlight of my day. This was also my first time properly coming to the British Library to study. And I was just so amazed at how nice everything was and how aesthetic it was. It was actually crazy. If you haven't been, please go because you will literally love it. I think it's so pretty and everyone's just there studying and it just feels so nice. And then I actually went to have Korean barbecue and this was also my first time trying Korean barbecue just because I'd always been kind of scared of the cooking part just because I didn't want to give anyone salmonella from uncooked meat. But it was actually a really fun experience and I do recommend it if you want to try it. I then decided to go to university the next day just so I could work a little bit on my project but I ended up not really doing that and just kind of faffing around and trying to take a few pictures for Instagram. I post on my Instagram multiple times every day. So if you want to keep up to date, follow me on Instagram. I mainly post outfit pictures, but on my stories, I post stuff that I do every day um, just because I post on Instagram far more than I post on YouTube so you can be updated but yeah this day I was actually at university to do some observing because for my project it's astrophotometry and part of that means we need to use a telescope to do some observing. So we came to university on this night because the weather said it was a clear day, but it was actually super, super cloudy and we weren't able to get the best results, but it was still really fun and I think it was good practice for us on how to use the observatory. And then a few days later, my friends and I decided to actually hang out properly to celebrate the end of exams. So we ended up going to this really popular Instagram cafe and it's known for their hot chocolate and chocolate basically. I think it's called Said Dal and their stuff is really really indulgent and since their hot chocolate was trending all over Instagram we all thought we've got to get it. So I ended up getting the hot chocolate and also getting a slice of carrot cake just because I actually wanted to try a lot of stuff but carrot cake is one of my favourite types of cakes so I was like I'm gonna try it just to see if I like it. And the experience there was so different to any other cafe experience I've had. And the hot chocolate there was so unique. I've never had a hot chocolate like this before. And I think the massive thing was that it was really, really thick, like super thick hot chocolate and I was not expecting it. But it was interesting and it was nice to go there. The vibe was really nice. It was chilled out and it just felt really cute. We then went to Wan Yu Esports and this is basically like an internet cafe, but also they've got loads of different games. They've got the Switch, they've got the PS. So we just thought we'd go there and play some games because 
why not? And it was really, really fun. I'm really not a gamer. So it was fun to have a go at playing some of the games they had. And it was kind of funny because we went as a group of three and a lot of the games that they had were not for three players. They were basically for two players. So we ended up playing FIFA and this other game, which was basically like a fighting game. I don't remember what it was called, but we're playing it right now. And you basically had to get your opponents to fall off the edge of the buildings and stuff like this and it was actually really fun and we ended up getting the hang of it eventually but whilst we were figuring it out it was so funny because we weren't sure what to press to get the power-ups and the special tools that we had for our characters and then when we were playing FIFA it was even worse because we literally did not know how to play but it was funny. We then ended up going out to eat again because that cake and hot chocolate obviously was not going to be enough for the whole day. So we ended up going to the food court in Westfield Stratford because that was where Wan Yu was. Go and get your food quickly. What? Your thing is beeping. <laughs> So I ended up getting pho, chicken pho. I keep seeing it everywhere on Instagram and I was like, I low-key want it. This is how it looks. Comes with some chopsticks and a spoon as well. What is your one called, guys? Um, chicken and prawn what, what fried noodles. noodles. What fried noodles? Oh, fancy. And what's your juice called? Iced tea. <laughs> Iced tea. <laughs> Not juice. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I think to be honest with this particular faux I don't think it was the best made faux because to be honest I just thought the noodles were the best part and the chicken was really dry and I mean the soup was good actually the soup was good and the noodles were good but I didn't really like anything else and they had the vegetable stuff on the side and I tried it all but I literally couldn't eat it because I mean I've had bean sprouts many times but these bean sprouts were really really dry so I just wasn't impressed and I was kind of upset because I thought I was going to like it more than I did but then we ended up walking around and we kind of came to a football stadium it was near the Olympic Park and I believe it was called West Ham Football Stadium and it was nice we wanted to go inside but we weren't actually sure if we were allowed to and it was actually really funny because we were walking around and they had an alarm I think they were doing like a drill and they made a massive um, announcement saying that it was a drill and now we've actually finally made it to the first day of semester two at university so this was our first day back and class was pretty full because on the first week everyone's always there because you know everyone's kind of excited and yeah, we get to see everyone, so that was quite nice. And this was our first lecture on elementary particle physics. And we were pretty much just going over recapping stuff that we'd already learned. So that was nice little refresher for us just to ease into the topic, I guess, because now in week four, looking back, it's quite intense. And now I've fully converted to doing everything digitally. I don't use paper anymore just because I find my iPad really convenient and I make my notes on it and I do my homework on it and then I use my laptop as well. And it's so, so much better for me because my bag is a lot lighter now because I don't have to carry so many books and everything is all in one place on my iPad. I love blazers and I find myself wearing them all the time. This specific blazer dress is actually from Shein. I will leave it linked in the description if you would like to check it out. And I am actually obsessed with it. I think it's so pretty. Oh my god, I actually don't know what What are we doing? I don't know. Let me think of a joke. How, how do we feel about cannibalism? <laughs> I don't feel good about it. Today is actually the 24th of January, which means it's the first day back at university and I'm joined Yay. with my beautiful friend Sana, oh, which up. you've seen her before actually. Yeah, but I was silent, <laughs> but I never, I've never spoken, so yeah. So we've given is, her the chance to speak. Today. Yeah, I'm so honoured, honestly. I've never spoken in my life. <laughs> oh my god. So this is my, my debut, I guess. <laughs> this yeah. is my debut. My debut voice. You're... <laughs> <laughs> voice reveal. Voice reveal. Here oh it my is. god. Yeah. So we basically had a class on elementary particle physics yeah. where we received a shock. We're shocked. <laughs> we were shocked. That's how we look I look traumatized. Because <laughs> basically, um turns out we've got coding. 
a bit, a little bit of coding. We're so excited. Look at us. I don't know why we're surprised because we literally do physics and we have to code. And for we've literally, literally been told that we're going to code, but we're delusional. Yeah, we thought maybe we don't have to code, but apparently we really we do. do think we're the exception. We really like, do. Everyone can code, but we don't. <laughs> we're not meant to code. We're just going to use like a <laughs> cat. We're gonna use our calculators. <laughs> no, because it's true. We're gonna use our calculators. So now we're technically on our break. It's not really a break, it's just like we don't have class right now, so it's a break. Oh, it's I thought you were talking about we're on our break in the semester, and I was like, wait, we just started <laughs> we today. Just started we just started so today. How are we on, but a we're break, on break? break? It's pretty much lunchtime. We got lunch. I actually yeah. bought a packed lunch because yesterday. Just <laughs> No, yesterday I made some rice. It's like got courgettes and carrots and sweet corn and Hell. random stuff. And then this crushed up packet of crisps. Yum. It adds flavour, I, I feel. And then my water bottle. I was literally going to show you, but you're balanced on the water yeah. bottle. Yeah, so you can imagine You it. can imagine yeah. a water bottle. I got a meal deal. Mm. Falafel. Ooh. I don't know if you can see it. Falafel and hummus. Do you want to show it a bit closer? Oh, there show we and go. tell vibes. Those little show and tell show vibes. Show and tell. Oh my gosh, primary school vibes. Oh my gosh. Um, then I was like, let me be health. Like you know, I'm kind of healthy. Santa is so healthy. I got healthy. a fruit pot. The unhealthy. I got a coffee. Coffee is still good because it's you know a cold brew. I just like the. I just want it. Yeah, normally well, Santa always gets a water. Yeah, but I already have some in my bag. There you go, everyone. Yes. <laughs> I'm still not showing you a water bottle. <laughs> We are just talking about how this cheese um, didn't melt because vegan cheese never melts. I literally tried to melt this for a while and it didn't, which is why it looks like just grated cheese <laughs> thrown on top. And this is the little cutlery set that I always bring. I, I bought it and it's always in my bag. It just lives in my bag. In my opinion, first week of a new semester is always the best week because everything is quite relaxed and chilled out and the knowledge stuff there is pretty much just recapping what we've already learned so it's quite nice and then as the weeks progress the work just hits and all the homework deadlines just hit and they all go at one time so it's so intense and right now we've already had so many homeworks that have been due we've got quizzes every week for the different modules and i'm also doing my project alongside it because that's like a two semester module type of thing and this was our first lecture in galaxies and then after uni i went out and this was to a place called honest burgers and the burger was actually pretty good and there was rosemary seasoned chips which were also really nice and then I decided to go to archery because it had been such a long, long time since I last went to a session. And it was really fun to see everyone there and have a go at shooting a few arrows as well because new people can join when it's a new semester. Well, to be honest, anyone can join whenever they want. But when there's a new semester, typically more people tend to join as well. And then the next day was actually Sano's birthday. So we decided to go out after class and this food looks amazing it was so pretty we went for brunch and i ended up getting eggs benedict and i just thought it looked so pretty and it tasted really really good we felt so bougie eating here and there were people doing business meetings and stuff it was so funny but the vibe was really nice and the whole place looked really fancy there were mirrors everywhere and the choice of food was quite crazy there was lobster and stuff as well and it was really nice because it was very different to stuff that I'd normally end up ordering like this obviously wasn't my typical burger and chips so I felt really happy that I'd actually ordered something different and I was glad that it tasted good I actually really like spinach so I was happy that there was spinach in this as well after we ate we walked around for a bit and just checked out the really cool places around and we found this really cool chewing gum disposable recyclable thing it was really interesting because I'd never seen anything like it before but it was basically a recycling bin for your gum which I thought was really good and then we ended up going to Peggy Portion because why have a birthday without birthday cake right so we all came here and it was all cutesy really pretty and nice and we all ended up getting the same cake which was the chocolate one 
we couldn't decide because we were so spoilt for choice and I wasn't sure whether to either get the strawberry one or the chocolate one but then I ended up getting the chocolate one because the strawberry had lemon and there was like a lemon sauce on the eggs benedict so I thought I should go for a different vibe so I ended up getting the chocolate cake and it was really good. I just thought the presentation and the display was so pretty it would literally make anyone want to go and buy their cakes and stuff and basically we didn't book so we were only able to stay there for half an hour and we couldn't really look at other stuff on the menu we were only able to eat the cakes that were already on display and I mean fair enough because I guess we should have booked but it was nice to go there and just experience the vibe especially since everyone that had been there said it was really nice and cute. Cake is definitely my favourite dessert. I can never get bored of cake. I literally love every cake flavour that I've tried. And the truffle on this cake was filled with caramel sauce. So it was really interesting when I took a bite and all the caramel would literally burst out. For this module I usually just download the lecture slides and annotate it as the professor is speaking because I don't really have time to write notes anymore just because I feel like they take a lot of time and they're not as useful as doing exercise questions. Projected along our uh, line of sight. So this is says really not Hello, this is LVS YouTube channel. Like, so, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you add the notification bell. <laughs> You guys heard it here first. The president said to like, comment, and subscribe, so I don't think we can disobey the president. I always wear an arm guard when I do archery because I learnt the hard way that if the string hits your arm it is pretty painful. And now we're actually at Elan Cafe. I've been to Elan Cafe before once but this time I actually got their burgers and this burger was pretty good. It was the buttermilk chicken burger I think and it had some kimchi and cucumbers and sauce and stuff and I thought this cafe was really cute as well because it had these little Harry bows and the presentation was so cute. And here's a little outfit of the day. You might notice that my hair colour is actually different now. Basically I got my hair done but the clips from that video are going to be in the next vlog. It was really fun, I finally got my hair done after about a year because when I was in first year, I dyed my hair a lot of different crazy colours and then I kind of just didn't dye my hair and I kind of forgot to all throughout last year and then this year my hair was literally all black and a tiny bit of brown at the bottom so I decided to get it done and I actually got a balayage and I'm really happy with the hair colour and the outcome but more about that next time. I finally got my archery competition top this year. I wanted it since I was in first year but we didn't actually make an order back when I was in first year and when I was in first year I did actually go to a couple of SEAL competitions so those were just competing against other universities. And now I wanted to take a moment from this vlog to talk about a few products that I was very kindly gifted from YesStyle. The first item that I chose were this pair of Argyle socks. I love socks and I absolutely love Argyle patterns. I wear so many Argyle sweater vests so I thought this pair of socks would be perfect. And then I've been wearing a lot of white socks recently with my loafers and I thought these schoolgirl type socks would be really cute and they've got little bows on the back. And then I also decided to get this pair of kind of like patterned tights, but they're actually socks. They go halfway up your calves and I think they're really pretty. The design is really cute as well. And as soon as I saw it on the website, I just knew that I had to get it. And then I wanted to try out this cleanser for a while, so I decided to add that into my basket as well. But I'll let you know how I get on with it when I use it. On my Instagram, I've been doing this outfits challenge where I do 
30 days of different outfits and if you want to see those go and check out my Instagram which is elvia.kira. This whole blazer set is from Shein. I absolutely love the blazer and the trousers and I really like these trousers a lot because they're the first pair of trousers that actually reach the floor when I stand up without any shoes which I'm really happy about. And Shein are actually doing a runway show where they're using green screen technologies to showcase different places around the world on different bodies. So if you're interested in stuff like that and also the clothes that I've shown you, I'll link them all in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys! <laughs> 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 <laughs>